Brianna McCarthy is one of many artists trying to change the way people think of black women. She uses mixed media like collage, drawing, and painting to show the strength, beauty, and even long suffering of her subjects. Much of her art uses strong lines and patterns to map the face. Today, you will draw a portrait of a family member based on McCarthy's style. In addition to a piece of paper, markers, and a crayon, you'll need a picture of the person you're going to draw. I'm drawing my mother. And the first thing I'm looking at is the shape of her chin. I notice she has a chin that kind of pops out at the bottom. So I'm doing that first. Then I'll add the neck and the neck line, followed by sloping lines off the paper. Now I'm going to draw the eyes. Next is the nose, and I'm really drawing the front shape of the nose. I'm not shying away from it. Sometimes I only draw half or whatever, but I'm really drawing her full nose. Now I'm gonna draw her lips, which she has pretty thin lips, so I'm keeping in mind what my family member looks like. Like my mother has these smile lines on the side of her face, so I'm being sure to include those. After I've done that, I'm gonna start adding these lines around the eyes. This is something more just signature of the artist that we are incorporating into our portrait. I'm gonna finish it off with her hair, which my mother's hair is pretty straight, so I'm keeping it straight. If you have a different hairstyle or if it's short, be sure to draw it that way, the way the person likes it, the way their hair is. From here, I'm gonna start separating sections of my hair and face. So right now my face is pretty much one uh, plane, but after I add the eyebrows, you'll see I add lines to separate the face into sections so that I can add different patterns in each of those areas. So using the lines of her lips to go out and down, adding her chin, there's her lip lines that I'm going off of. And I'm also adding more areas underneath her eyes and her ears as well. All right, when you've divided up your face like that, the last thing to do is to color it in. I'm using mostly markers because I like how bold the color is, although I will use crayons a little bit so I have more color options. So. Take your time right now and really color in different portions of your family member's face. I'm doing some a solid color and some are gonna have a pattern. So you can watch for a little bit to get an idea, but I want you to get started on your family member's portrait.
don't forget the background. I'm going to use one crayon, but press down with different pressure to get different values of that color. All right, I cannot wait to see what your family portraits look like.